to Afghanistan now and another suicide attack. The bomber slipped through tight security and blew himself up in a busy area of Kabul. The attack comes just days ahead of a crucial conference on the future of Afghanistan to be held in the capital. The CBC's Cameron McIntosh is in Kandahar tonight. Cameron. Susan, security is what this conference will be all about. For weeks, Afghan authorities have been working to secure Kabul in anticipation of it. Well, today, a stark example of how difficult a challenge that really is. In this busy Kabul market, witnesses say a man on a bike rode up to a passing NATO convoy, then detonated an explosive vest, blowing himself up, killing three civilians and leaving 26 others wounded. Afghanistan's government says in order to prevent this type of violence, it doesn't necessarily need more money, just greater control of how it's spent. And I believe the impact of the latter would be greater than the impact of the former. On Tuesday, NATO, the UN and delegates from 60 nations, including Canada's Lawrence Cannon and U.S. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, will meet in Kabul. After nine years of fighting and spending $40 billion in aid, the delegates want Afghanistan to take over its own security. The Karzai government, widely criticized for being corrupt, says it needs greater say over how aid money is spent. The UN says it wants Afghanistan to present an accountable plan. If they come up at the conference, as we are expecting, with a clear series of projects and programs which will indicate what type of activity they want to do for the Afghan people, then they may be right in expecting that the bilateral aid, i.e. the aid given from governments, will be realigned to that. Canada echoes that. Some Afghans themselves say they have concerns. Shopkeeper Dust Mohammed says he wants to be optimistic, but asks if the Afghan government can't provide basics like electricity, how can it provide security? This student agrees. He says lots of money has already been spent on the army and police, but security gets worse by the day. Now back in May, the Afghan government tried to hold a peace conference in Kabul. The Taliban fired rockets at it. Tonight, Afghan and NATO forces have the city under tight watch. Susan? Thank you, Cameron. Cameron McIntosh in Kandahar. And another note from Afghanistan tonight. NATO soldiers are mourning the death of someone who's worked alongside them since the mission began. Fida Mohammed was known as Popeye, a nickname given to him by American soldiers. He worked as the caretaker at the Kandahar airfield base, a jack of all trades who kept things running smoothly. Mohammed was honored many times by the military. His son says he was murdered.